I'm just telling you how to know. Belinda, Belinda, come over here by me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. That's Shelly's spot. <laughs> Where do you want? So just, go, oh, I want you next to me and uh, Brian next to me also. And then y'all just go in. Kind of even it out, you know, even it out. So that everybody's not on one side. Make sure everybody's got their phones on silent. Oops, excuse me. Good morning. My name is Heather Morris. I'm the Assistant Chief of the Criminal Investigations Command. And I wanted to start off um, here today by uh, letting you know that I'm going to be providing some information um, on this investigation, um, a missing uh, five-year-old boy, Samuel Olson, now six. But to start off, I just wanted to say that there's a lot of investigative work that's necessary in this investigation that still needs to be done. So I'm going to be providing some, some broad details about what happened and uh, kind of connecting some dots and how we got here today. Uh, but just to start off, uh, there's a lot of details I'm not going to be able to share because this is an active uh, investigation and there's going to be some things that we're really going to need to get right, um, you know, to be able to, you know, follow this thing up. So I wanted to start off also by introducing uh, my team that I have with me here this morning. I've got Commander uh, Null of the Homicide Division and also I have uh, Missing Persons Investigators of the Major Assaults Family Violence Unit. Um, here with me, and I'll start off. I've got um, uh, Officer Sean King, I've got um, Officer Brian Fort, I've got Officer Danny Doe, I've got um, uh, Officer Martha Bailey, uh, Sergeant Brendan McCord, and Officer Darren Busey. Uh, there's also, uh, I, I just can't say enough about this amazing team that's standing behind me and the, you know, the work that they've done on this case. You know, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the work of all of these investigators behind me as well as some additional investigators as well that are not here because uh, they're out actively still uh, working this investigation. And so I've got, I want to acknowledge uh, Sergeant Persard um, and uh, Sergeant Grimes uh, and Officer Crowder and Officer Vinagrat, excuse me, Mr. Vinagratov and uh, Sergeant Brady and Sergeant Casso. And all of these investigators um, have done just an amazing, phenomenal job and there's still, you know, still a lot of work to be done. But our hearts go out um, to the family members of Samuel. Uh, we are very, very saddened by the events that have brought us here today. It's just an absolute tragic event, um, and our prayers go out to the family. So we've asked everybody here today to provide in, um, information on the investigation of six-year-old Samuel Olson, who was reported missing to HPD on Thursday, May 27, 2021, at approximately 6 p.m. Patrol officers were dispatched to a residence in the southwest part of town where they met the father of Samuel, Dalton Olson. Also at the residence was Mr. Olson's girlfriend, Teresa Balboa. Mrs. Balboa told the officers on the scene that she was at the residence the morn that morning at approximately 7 a.m. when she saw Samuel's mother with an unknown officer at the front of the residence. Ms. Balboa indicated that the officer told her that she would go to jail for kidnapping if she did not return Samuel to the mother. Ms. Balboa indicated that she recognized Samuel's mother because she had seen her before. Ms. Balboa told the officers that Samuel's mother and the officer left in separate vehicles. Ms. Olson told the officers that once he heard, Mr. Olson told the officers that once he heard this story from Ms. Balboa, he contacted Samuel's mother and she told him that Samuel was not with her. Missing persons investigators been, began working this investigation and made contact with Samuel's mother. Through investigative efforts, they were provided evidence that Samuel's mother was at her residence throughout the entire morning of May 27, 2021. Investigators continued to follow up on this case, doing everything investigatively possible to find Samuel. Their investigative efforts included in part interviews with Ms. Balboa, Mr. Olson, Samuel's mother, and others. Missing persons investigators discovered inconsistencies in Ms. Balboa's statements and consulted the Homicide Division. From that point, a collaborative effort was conducted by both the Missing Persons Unit and Homicide Investigators. Also, Texas EquiSearch assisted in searching multiple locations. 
A search warrant was obtained for the residence in the 15,000 block of the Gulf Freeway. This is the residence where Ms. Balboa was living. On Monday, the search warrant was executed by investigators and the Houston Forensic Science Center collected evidence from that location. That evidence will be processed and analyzed for its forensic value. Also, a 2012 Dodge Avenger was towed from that location to also be searched and analyzed for evidence. Yesterday, investigators were contacted by Jasper Police Department and they were notified that, that they had received an anonymous tip from Crime Stoppers that led law enforcement officers to a motel in Jasper, Texas in connection with this investigation. Jasper Police Department officers initiated contact at the motel with Ms. Balboa and eventually discovered the body of a young child. Ms. Balboa was taken into custody. At this time, we believe the child to be Samuel, but we cannot confirm that it is him until the medic medical examiner makes that determination. The Texas Rangers took lead on the investigation and homicide investigators traveled to the location to continue their follow-up. At this time, the Harris County District Attorney's Office has accepted charges of tampering with evidence against Ms. Balboa. Once this case has been fully investigated, investigators will be presenting the case to the District Attorney's Office for additional charges if appropriate. In addition to the investigators that I've already identified uh, today, and again, I just want to I just can't say enough how proud I am of their work and all the efforts that they put into this investigation. Um, but there are other people that help with this investigation, so I just wanted to thank um, some people that I know that have been involved in this investigation. And some of those are Texas EquiSearch, Tim Miller, and all of his people um, that he has with him, the Harris County District Attorney's Office, uh, specifically Samantha Connect that worked with our investigators to get um, search warrants, the Texas Rangers that helped out at the scene last night, Jasper Police Department, the Jasper County Sheriff's Office, the Jasper County District Attorney's Office, um, our Houston Forensic Science Center, um, and it also Crime Stoppers. Um, I um, would like to open it up for questions, uh, but again, a lot of the details I'm not going to be able to provide information on just because of the seriousness and the investigation um, and the ongoing, um, ongoing investigation. So if somebody has any questions. There was, there was uh, I think, Monday that uh, detectives said that they believe that the, the child wasn't missing last week, but since April the 30th. Is that, is that still something that you guys are looking at, or he disappeared on May 27th? So we know that the last day that Samuel was in school was April 30th. So other than that, we're not going to, we don't have the information yet as far as when was the last time that he was actually that he was actually seen so that's a big part of what we're doing right now and the conversations we're having right now uh, to determine when that was but April 30th was the last day he was in school and what stage do you know that the child was found was he uh, with a trauma or anything like that right so I'm gonna leave that um, for the uh, you know once the you know medical examiners have, have done their uh, you know done the work on that and, and um, not get into the specifics uh, on that, and mainly because, um, you know, a lot of that we don't have yet. We just, we just don't have it until that medical examiner uh, is able to, um, to do their part. Has Ms. Malboa, Balboa said anything? So, um, she has been talking to investigators because, like I said, we had some inconsistent stories, so we have talked to her multiple times, and that's going to be, that's going to be ongoing. So McAvoy was the location where uh, Ms. Balboa reported Samuel missing from. And so obviously that's a place that, you know, we have an, have an interest in. Um, as far as anything else there that led us to Jasper, McAvoy doesn't have any connection at this time that we know of um, to that. What led us to Jasper was the Crime Stoppers tip that came in uh, letting Jasper PD know uh, that uh, Ms. Balboa was there at that location in a motel there in Jasper. And that Dodge, uh, and excuse me if I missed this, that Dodge, do you believe that it belonged to her? Or do you know that we believe that that was a vehicle that she primarily drove. Okay, but we don't think she, it belonged to her. 
As far as the actual ownership, uh, n you know, no, but that is a vehicle she primarily drove. Does uh, Ms. Balboa have any criminal record? Well, I do, I can confirm that Ms. Balboa is out on bond currently. For what? That would be for a assault with intent, uh, impeding breath. Was there a protective order against the dad, D Dalton Holton? I am not aware of a protective order, but let me order a protective order. Is there a protective order? No. From Ms. Balboa with Dalton, the dad. With conditions. There may have been there may have been some conditions of the bond, but specifically a protective order. I'm not aware of one. So she was on bond on an assault charge against him. Against the father of Sam, uh, Samuel's father. How did she get to the motel in Jasper? Was she with anyone? So we are we're still investigating that, um, and we have additional people that we're talking to. I don't want to get into details, you know, as far as as that goes, because uh, I think it would be very premature. Um, but uh, yeah, we're talking to, um, you know, we have several other people we're talking to. Do you know if the child was already at that motel and she arrived there after, or? So I would probably hold off on that one. Uh, and again, that's going to play out. We'll, you know, as we go through the investigation, we'll be able to you know, shore up a lot more details on that. Do you have any motive why she would take him? Why Jasper? Why a hotel? Is there a motive behind this? I mean, it's so heartbreaking. It is absolutely heart is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, absolutely. And as far as a motive, we, you know, no, we do, we do not have a motive at this point in time. Is there anybody else you're looking as a person of interest? Anybody else you're looking to take into custody? So we do have other people that uh, we have an interest in, in talking to in this investigation. Um, as far as charges, you know, we're not, you know, we're not there um, as far as charges go. And um, so, uh, but we do have additional people we're talking to, definitely. But, but that's not the father of the child included in those people of interest? So it, I think that um, I'm not going to say that, um, the father is a person of interest, but he's definitely somebody that, that uh, you know, we can continue to talk to and get information from. How many would you say are people of interest? Um, I don't, I really couldn't say exactly, um, but there are several people that we, you know, that we're interested in talking to uh, additionally. And this was Samuel brought in from the car into the motel. Um, can you say that again? How was Samuel transported from the car into the motel? So um, we are working on uh, we you know surveillance evidence you know from the hotel and so we'll we'll that'll play out once we you know do further investigation. Can you remember what she was uh, taking into, what charges she was taken into custody on and you're, you said she bailed out already on those. Okay, um, so she is on bond for a case from November yes. from November of last year. Okay. Okay, and that's the assault uh, uh, with intent to um, pee breath. Uh, and that's the one where Samuel's father, uh, Dalton, Bal um, Dalton um, Olson, uh, was the uh, complainant in that case. Currently, um, she's on bond for that case. The DA's office here in Harris County has accepted charges for tampering with evidence at this time. And again, once we do more investigation, uh, you know, and if appropriate, we'll be, uh, you know, working with the DA's office to, to pursue additional charges if that's appropriate. But she is in custody right now. She is in custody. She's actually in the Jasper County Jail right now. Okay. And so we're working on finalizing, getting our charges uh, filed here. Like I said, the um, Harris County DA's office has accepted charges uh, here in Harris County. And we will be uh, trying to get, you know, working through the process to get her returned to Harris County. Got it. Do we know how Samuel was we do. We do not. We'll have to wait. That'll. That'll. That'll come from the medical examiner. Uh, and, you know. And, uh, you know. Investigation. Yeah. Will Ms. Balboa make a court appearance in Jasper County today? You know? I don't have any specifics on that. I do not know. Did Jasper police comment on how Ms. Balboa acted or reacted when she was apprehended? Yeah, I, I do not have that information. The mother in this case, uh, the original, the mom. How is uh, Samuel's she doing, mother. How is she doing? And has she indicated any kind of threats from Spalmo at all? I'm not aware of any. 
um, obviously as a mother, um, you know, I understand she's, um, you know, extremely upset, but um, I'm not aware of any threats or anything like that. Um, do we know how long Samuel may have been dead? We do not know. And that'll be, that'll be part of our extensive follow-up investigation. Any other questions? And folks, please remember he has not been positively identified yet. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? All right. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I do Appreciate have you. One question. That apartment that you guys served a search warrant on on Monday, mm -hmm. who specifically does that belong to? That's that apartment is where um, Ms. Balboa lives there. That's her residence. And there is another male that lives there with her, but I don't want to, at this time, you know, we don't want to identify who that is. Okay. Do you know Ms. Abel will be brought back to Harris County for? Yeah, so our intent is to just work through the legal process to get her returned to Harris County, yes. Any other questions? All right, thank, folks, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. basically just a regular I'm just going to basically regurgitate what you what you were talking about and just take